Hello, I'm Marion Nicholson, Director of the Herpes Viruses Association, and I'm a member of the Specialist Doctors Panel for Herpes Simplex. This video clip is all about transmission, the basics. Transmission by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with the affected area, when the virus is active, with friction. So I'll go through those four um, aspects in more detail. By direct skin contact. Despite what you read on the internet, it is never transmitted via sheets, towels, toilet seats, and all the rest. The expert doctors are very clear about this in their guideline. You don't need to worry about what you've read on the internet. Skin to skin contact with the affected area. So it is not transmitted from anywhere on your body except the region where you have it. So for instance, if you have facial infection, that would be from the line of the jaw to the crown of the head. If you have it genitally, that's usually from the exact place where you've got your symptoms, but it could actually turn up anywhere in the general region, which includes all the genitals, the anal area, and the lower buttocks and down the back of the thigh. Um, when the virus is active, well, we suggest that you stop having sex from the moment you feel the warning signs through until it's fully gone away. Or in the case of facial infection, just don't kiss from the moment you get warning signs. Now, what are these warning signs? Well, they vary from person to person, but they will usually be something like intense itching at the place where the outbreak is going to happen, or a sensation that the skin there is burnt, super sensitive, it could be numb, um, it can be little stabbing sensations, it could be a deep ache, or it could even be the sort of volcano under the skin feeling that you might remember from when you had teenage spots on your chin. You'll get to know what your symptoms are so that you can stop having sex from the moment you feel these warning signs. So until it's fully gone away. Now, sometimes the warning signs will go away without there being a, an actual recurrence. Sometimes you'll have the proper full recurrence. It varies according to the state of your health at the time. And then um, with friction, the virus doesn't dig, it can't swim, it can't crawl, it can't get into your skin, except by being massaged in. And of course, that's what we're doing when we're having sex or when we're kissing. So by direct skin to skin contact with the affected area, when the virus is active with friction, there's another video clip about asymptomatic shedding and another one on what happens if my partner already has it. So watch these clips too. Thank you for watching this one. There's a lot more um, information on our website and you can get even further information by subscribing or please donate if this has helped you. We rely on donations. Thank you very much.